हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी डू हिट द सब्सक्राइब बटन इफ यू हैव डन इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम विच सी दैट द मेन अटेम्प्ट टू सपोर्ट द लोड ऑफ बोर्ड्स हैविंग वेट डब्ल्यू एंड सेंटर ऑफ ग्रेविटी एच जी इफ ही इज स्टैंडिंग ऑन स्मूथ फ्लोर डिटर्मिन द स्मॉलेस्ट एंगल थीटा एट विच ही कैन होल्ड दैम अप इन द पोजिशन शोन नेगलेक्ट द वेट ऑफ द मेन so now this main is holding up these boards having the center of gravity at this point g so now as we know from our daily experience that when this uh, angles get smaller and smaller this the feet at a tends to lift up right and the whole load is ultimately on this feet at b since so we can say that if the uh, if the floor is applying the normal force on the feet in this direction at b and at a, at a in this direction let's say we have the normal reaction at b and the normal reaction at a so is this angle gets smaller and smaller and this boards uh, gets horizontal uh, close to horizontal position so what will happen is that the maximum load will be carried out by this feet and this feet will ultimately lose contact with the surface so if this feet lose contact with the surface and a will become zero so this means that for a very small theta this and a will be equals to zero so we can say that when theta tends to zero and a equals to zero or we can say that for very very small theta and a will be equals to zero so this is from our daily observation now let's uh, consider all the forces this is uh, an a at feet uh, the normal force at feet b uh, the normal force on this feet and the normal force on this feet and the weight of the board is acting at point g and that must be acting vertically downward and this is w so now if we find the summation of moment about point b equals to 0 since we want to find that angle theta uh, at which we he can hold them up in the position so if i apply the summation of moment about point b equals to 0 since he will be in equilibrium if he is in a position to hold them up right so the summation of moment about point b must be equals to 0 and the counterclockwise moment is considered to be positive so if we if we are going to find the summation of moment about point b equals to 0 the and b is not going to produce the moment about point b since it's passing through that point b so now as we can see that this na is producing the clockwise moment about point v so you will write minus and a and the moment arm of this na from this point b is this perpendicular distance which is 3 plus 0.5 so this is 3.5 so i will multiply this with 3.5 now the weight is going to produce the clockwise moment it is going to produce the clockwise moment about point b so i will write minus w and the perpendicular distance of this weight from that point b is this small distance we have this small distance so if if, if let me draw a a vertical line here and this vertical line so this small distance this is the moment arm of this weight from this point b and this small distance is equal to uh, from this point to this point this is 4 feet so this is this horizontal distance is 4 cos of theta so this distance this 4 cos of theta minus 3 will give us this small distance right if i if i draw a triangle here let me draw a triangle so this is we have the triangle like this we have a right angle triangle and this horizontal distance this is 4 cos of theta so this is from here to here this is 4 cos of theta and this distance this distance this is 3 so this small distance is 4 cos of theta minus 3 so this that is the moment arm of this weight so we will write um 4 cos of theta minus 
this will be equals to zero since this is the summation of moment about point v this must be equal to zero so now according to this observation an a will tend to zero for finding their small angle theta so for small angle theta this an a will be equal to zero so i have to put an a equals to zero in this equation so if i if an a is equal to zero this this term will become zero and we can write that minus w into four cos of theta minus 3 this is equal to 0 so weight is not equal to 0 so we can say that this term in the bracket this will be equal to 0 so we can say that this is 4 cos of theta minus 3 this is equal to 0 and from this we can say that 4 cos of theta is equal to 3 and cos of theta is 3 divided by 4 and theta is cos inverse 3 divided by 4 so cos inverse 3 divided by 4 this gives us 41.41 degrees so 41.41 degrees this is that small angle theta at which he can hold them up in the position shown the angle smaller than this will will make it impossible for the man to lift all these boards so this is that small angle theta which is equal to 41.41 degrees so this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope it will help you in your learning. Let me know in the comments if it helps in your learning. Do like this video and subscribe Ingenious Academy for the solution of such more problems related to hybristatics.